Hello everybody, welcome back to another technical demo around the Porkasay application. My name is Daniel Rao. Today I'm going to showcase how to bring your Porkasay application faster on developer sandbox. Developer sandbox provides the developer with a private OpenShift environment with a shared and multi-tenant OpenShift cluster, which is a pre-configured with a set of developers tool, and you can deploy and develop the Porkasay application, but also Node.js and Spring Boot application with the uh, core ready workspaces, which is already installed as operator in developer sandbox in OpenShift cluster. Today, we're going to use the developer sandbox to get started with the Quarkasy application developer faster. In order to bring your own Quarkasy application project into uh, developer sandbox, specifically a uh, code ready workspace environment, we're going to use a dev file configuration. The dev file allows developer to define components and commands and even uh, which allows developer to specify specific configuration around the Kubernetes resource and the post start or uh, pre start all uh, lifecycle related configuration on your developer environment. Let's get into the demo how it works. Okay, first of all, you're going to jump in the core ready workspace directly with, with the uh, workspace at dot openshift.com URL. And then you need to append the actual Gibby part URL, for example, here, the github.com uh, Red Hat middleware uh, demo possible this to do application. Take a look at that, how the Gibby part three uh, looks like here. The so dev file already uh, defined the root directory on your Git repository. And then when you click on the Git dev file, you can find this uh, multiple components here. So for example, we're gonna uh, pull down the Git application and also specific component here. Uh, we're gonna expose uh, this application as 8080 port here. And then uh, uh, memory limit, uh, you can define for specific part when you run this application. And then uh, there are specific wizard command like a start encoding and deploy this application to Kubernetes uh, but also open the container platform. The developer can define any uh, preferred configuration. So return the URL, and then uh, you're going to go to the login with your existing developer uh, credential. So it's appropriate to sign up at developer at redhead.com. And then after a few seconds, your code ready workspaces will get started. As you see, uh, the to do demo application along with that get URL. This project already imported, imported in my already workspace environment. Let's try to uh, take a look at quickly uh, what kind of application is defined here. And here's a Palm XML based on purpose application. You can have a multiple wizard in the uh, toolbox, so like a new terminal and deploying to OpenShift and start live coding. So let's try to click on a new terminal here to open and then uh, just uh, find the directory, you can find the to-do demo application, already import your terminal window. And then uh, let's try to run this application directly. One of the beauty of Quarkus, uh, the, for developer, they can run the live coding mode, like a, AKA a Quarkus dev mode. So uh, it will download all uh, dependency library from the Maven Central repository. And in the meantime, let's take a look at a little bit more uh, the application code here. The to do Java application just pulls your bean, and then uh, there are resources file, uh, just uh, uh, digest your HTML file for presentation layer. And here is a compilation in application properties file. We're going to use in memory database to store and update and create a new data. Here is the pre defined uh, data. Uh, for example, four rows will be. Insert when focus application gets started. Uh, there are all the work items for to do application. So one of the good thing of the core ready workspace you can have a focus tool which allows developer to uh, add some extension or a specific focus shortcut. So so once the focus application run and then we go to presentation like endpoint URL. Let me try to add a new worker item, like a create a new demo for the developer sandbox. And then you just find the new data just inserted and then uh, try to do another one, like uh, update the purpose workshop. 
and you can just delete it, uh, one of your work items. So this is a totally uh, perfect capability to communicate your database like a, a cross a functionality on your enterprise project application. So try to uh, change our application even the purpose is running on top of the developer sandbox. Uh, so try to add a new one and change the value, like uh, uh, create a nice demo. Actually, I'm doing it. So create a new nice demo and go back to uh, presentation layer and uh, reload that page and you can find the create a nice demo uh, that are automatically installed. You don't need to actually develop or doesn't need to uh, recompile, restart the purpose application runtime. Okay, let's try to go to uh, developer sandbox web console on OpenShift. So go to developers at reddit.com, you can launch your developer sandbox for OpenShift uh, web console. And then once you log in once again, and then you can find the, the developer uh, UI, uh, there are specific namespace, uh, username dash uh, dev. And then you can uh, log in with the token uh, information into your core web space because we're going to deploy this application to OpenShift. In order to do that, we need to log in to write OpenShift cluster first. So we are writing the namespace doh dash dev. And then, uh, first of all, we're going to need to add one. A purpose extension which allows developer to deploy this application with the building application as well. So using Maven command line to add a new extension, as you see, purpose open shift, and then we're gonna add uh, a few configuration in the property file. Uh, just to make sure this application containerized and build and deploy to open shift. So just uh, click on one of the wizards deploying to open shift. It takes a few minutes uh, to complete. In the meantime, let's try to explain uh, what configuration are here. So uh, we're going to use the self certificate on open shift cluster and then deploy to Kubernetes cluster and target specific open shift. And then we're going to use build strategy with the Docker. So as you see, Corpus application already have three different types of Docker file for JVM uh, based on uh, the job file, like OpenJDK. And then the other one is the native uh, Docker file because Corpus uh, uh, allows developer to have a native executable file. And the last one, faster, this is a new feature. Uh, it's a more faster running time and response time in production mode. Your uh, jar application. As you see, uh, we're going to download all dependency from Maven project, and then after that, we're going to uh, containerize the application using Docker file. Okay, so our application just build, which means when you go back to a developer console in OpenShift side, you can find a new purpose application just get started. And then go to check it out the application logs here find the four new data is inserted. The last one, we just edited in the local environment in core radio spaces. So click on uh, the endpoint. You can find the create a nice demo. It's already there. You just change it in the local environment. But we also deploy this application same uh, snapshot to the OpenShift container platform with the one command line or just a wizard. In this video, I'm going to try to showcase uh, how to uh, bring your existing Quarkus application project into uh, code ready workspace on top of the developer sandbox. You just need to one single URL on your web browser with your specific repository, specifically Quarkus application project, and then bring all kind of application environment into uh, code ready workspace and developer sandbox, which allows developer just get started application development just day one. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you have any question around that, please let me know. I'm more than happy to address that. Thanks for watching. Have a good rest of the day.